Oh gosh, assalamualaikum everyone. Just when we think that uh, things can get a little bit better, we are trying to, uh, you know, have some trouble here. So yesterday we crossed an important, I, don't, I just don't know what is going on with crypto anymore. <clears throat> it's out of my understanding nowadays that it's not fun anymore. Okay, trading, the way trading used to be fun, it's not fun anymore. And the reason is the following right how many times have we seen everything not holding retest okay it's getting way too weird man it's just getting way too weird you had one resistance second one third one fourth one you broke out and this is where the fun actually ends that you even made a retest and you back tested successfully just to take to go down once again so I'm still not sure if Bitcoin wants to head down. I still don't see Bitcoin want, wanting to come down. But I'll tell you one thing that if Bitcoin does end up coming down and taking these lows and backtesting and failing them, then I do think Bitcoin is going to drop, which makes sense for Bitcoin. But I don't know what's going to, to happen to the altcoins. Altcoins are going to be bleeding way too bad for the fact that Bitcoin is going to be going way too down. Now, anything can happen, of course, in the market right now. But what I'm looking at, what I'm interested in is the weekly time frame. The next four days are quite important to see where Bitcoin is going to be leading the place. So you do have uh, this thing going on in here. You do have a Morningstar printed out Bitcoin on top of the EMAs. OK, so the EMAs here are holding support for Bitcoin. You have the 10 EMA holding. You have the uh, 55 and the 20 holding as well. So we're not actually losing any hope at the moment hopes are still alive in, in the air it's floating in the air you have hope as long as you have hope you might get lucky but in just one second just one second everything can flip over everything can just go down and i always tell you to be prepared for the war situation i mean we all all we do is hope for something good right but it doesn't really mean that it's going to be good all the time. It's going to be a little bit bloody and messy. And you've got to deal with it. That's just how the market really is. It's not fun all the time. It's actually blood and sweat at some point. So for me, if you are not going to be holding the EMAs, if the Morningstar is going to be invalidated, which, is, which has not been done just yet, then you might end up just coming down, lose the EMAs right there, lose the EMAs, drop down and boom come down here and there is one reason to go down there and that is simple a cme gap at twenty thousand dollars has not been filled so if that gap is going to be filled then let it be now you never know if this is just a quick capitulation to take stop losses and then go back up it in my opinion if something like that is meant to happen it will just be a capitulation and you, you make a very, you know, quick capitulation down there and then you bounce off very, very quickly. Now, let's talk about the monthly because June is approaching my birthday month. So that means if you are new to this channel, follow me. OK, you might never see it again. And as far as the monthly time frame goes, well, you know, we are for the first time actually above the 20 EMA in the, on the monthly time frame. After such a long period of downtrend here, you're trying to cross uh, this 20 EMA. Now, for some reason, on the monthly, the 20 is acting a little bit strict for Bitcoin. It's actually getting a little bit heavier for Bitcoin. But let's see what really happens, because now you have 13 hours to close the month of May. And if you end up coming down here today and you drop to $24,000 today, I'm talking about today. If you drop to 24K, then you're making in a evening star and that can create the chances of June being bloody all the way to the downside once again. So let's see how today the candles are going to be closing. I do hope the weekly morning star makes a difference and the weekly EMAs make some difference for us. And that's pretty much it for this update on Bitcoin. I'm going to see you in the next one. Hello, office.